video we are going to see about magnitude and angle criterion for a closed loop system actually this is a closed loop system it is system gain it is feedback gain c of s is output r of s is input from this the equation of transfer function equal to laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input already the system gains input and output all are in laplace transform therefore output divided by input equal to transfer function equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so we know from the closed loop transfer function of a system characteristic equation equal to its denominator part equal to zero so we know so if we bring this into right hand side we will get g of s into h of s equal to minus one we see it may be any one system it may consist of in the numerator side zeros denominator side poles the roots of characteristic equation depends upon the value of s in the above equation so we know the roots of this characteristic equation depends upon this gs value that means s so s may be for example if g of s equal to s into s plus 1 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 3 so g of s may be like this otherwise here s square may come so depends upon the s value the roots will vary so now so to get the magnitude from this characteristic equation we have to find the modulus on both the side so we will get magnitude of g of s into h of s equal to 1 will give the magnitude it is called as magnitude criteria the corresponding angle equal to g of s angle of g of s into h of s equal to its angle plus or minus 180 degree into 2, 2 q plus 1 so where q value equal to 0 1 2 3 so from this characteristic equation magnitude criteria is this one angle criteria is this one so now for magnitude criteria the magnitude criterion states that from this s equal to s a will be a point on root locus if its value will be within this suppose we are going to select a pole that value may be we can consider 2 if the 2 is within this equation or condition definitely the 2 will be lie on the root locus for angle criterion also if we select a pole if that pole satisfies this condition satisfies this condition of g of angle of g of s into h of s is equal to an odd multiple of 180 definitely that pole will be on root locus so now we already know g of s into h of s actually the its gain may be it may consist of this number of poles its structure of zeros and poles will be like this there is a constant in the numerator side the structure of zero will be like this in the denominator side structure of poles will be like this so from this if the structure is like this from this if we want to calculate magnitude alone so we have to take the modulus on both the sides so according to the concept modulus of g of s into h of s equal to 1 equal to this k constant into for individual zeros and poles we have to take the modulus value it means positive value only so actually the, this is individual magnitude of 0 second 0 third 0 magnitude of first pole second pole third pole so now this we can write it as multiplication of here 1 2 3 so we can say i equal to 1 to m it means m number of zeros magnitude of s plus z1 suppose here 3 means we will get this s plus z1 into s plus z2 into s plus z3 for poles also so we can consider so these three are in multiplication so we can consider as i equal to 1 to n s plus p a suppose if n equal to 3 we will get this so it will keep on continuing therefore here we can use m here we can use n it means m number of zeros n number of poles m number of zeros of loop transfer function n is number of poles of loop transfer function next the magnitude criterion states that so according to the magnitude criterions magnitude of 
g of s into h of s equal to 1. So now this value equal to 1. Therefore, according to this condition, k equal to. So actually, if we take this into right hand side, this will become numerator, this will become denominator. Therefore, k equal to i 1 to n s plus whole divided by i 1 to m s plus zeros. So according to this, k equal to product of length of vector from open loop holes at point s equal to s a divided by product of length of vector from open loop zeros to the point s equal to zero. Actually from this, we are going to consider any one zero at this. From that zero, we will calculate the length. Suppose if that 0 is SA. If 0 is SA means from this 0 we will connect all other zeros available here. We will make product divided by here we will consider A pole. From that pole we will connect all the poles available here. Then we will multiply its length. So it means k value equal to product of length of vectors from open loop holes at point from s equal to s a divided by product of length of vector from open loop zeros to the point s equal to s a. Actually it is very simple. So we are going to consider a pole or zero. Suppose if it is zero s a. From this zero we will connect all other zeros available here. So we will multiply its length. That's all. Divided by here we are going to consider a pole from that pole, we will connect all the, so from, sorry, this is a zero. From this zero, we will connect all the zeros which are available here. We will multiply the length of its zeros from SA to this particular uh, zero. If we make product for all the zeros here to SA, we will get K value. So we know angle g of s into h of s equal to actually according to the angle actually we know g of s into h of s equal to k into s plus 0 divided by s plus pole it means here it may be n m number of zeros in the numerator in the denominator n number of poles it means so we have to consider we have to find the angle for zeros individually so first zeros angle plus second zeros angle it will keep on continuing minus next we have to come to pole so first pole uh, minus first pole angle then plus second pole angle it will keep on continuing so we have to subtract the angle formed by zeros sum of angle formed by zeros minus sum of angle formed by poles. So we can simplify and write in terms of sigma. So now if it is m number of zeros here, we can write like this. If it is n number of poles here, we can write like this. So here m is number of zeros of open loop transfer function. Here n is number of poles of loop transfer function. Uh, actually angle criterion states, states that Angle of g of s into h of s equal to plus or minus 180 degree into 2 q plus 1. So according to this, we have to equate this into this condition. So this is the final equation. Actually from this, it is in terms of mathematical expressions. So it is in terms of text. Actually, suppose according to this text, we are going to take a point s a. So from this point, we will connect all other zeros. Suppose if here, there are three number of zeros, Sx, Sy, Sz. We will connect Sx, Sa point. Similarly, we will connect Sy, Sa point. Sz, Sa point. We will calculate the angle of Sx. Then angle of Sy, angle of Sz. Then we will sum. Minus. The same way, we have to consider a point for pole. Then from that pole, we have to find the angle for it angle for the available poles we have to sum this equal to plus or minus 180 degree into 2q plus 1 so actually this is the angle criterion